Welcome back to Psychonauts, everyone. We're going to start off with a brief history lesson. 500 years ago, enormous titanium-bearing meteorite strikes the Earth, leaving a giant crater. Titanium, by the way, being uh, a element that boosts psycho uh, Psychonauts' uh, abilities. 200 years ago, native inhabitants began making arrowheads out of the titanium, which they call by the name Whispering Rock. This is a rough English translation. 100 years ago, prospectors and settlers take over the area, naming their boomtown Shaky Claim. 99 years ago, first case of paranormal hysteria diagnosed in Shaky Claim. 75 years ago, Houston Thorny builds his home for the demented to deal with the insanity epidemic. 60 years ago, more residents in asylum than in the town, Houston Thorny commits suicide by leaping from tower. 55 years ago, asylum closes. Last Valley residents paid to leave by the federal government who fled the crater to prevent further habitation. Lake Oblongata is created. Five years ago, Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp founded to nurture and train future psychonauts. Last summer, I got to first base with Elka Doom, signed Nils Lutfisk. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Okay. Let's see. So that's the history of how the camp came to be. Um, basically, everybody made a village on top of this place and were driven insane by the... Call me crazy. By the... Uh, titanium uh, that was in the ground. Because without being a psychonaut or without being a psychic in general, it can drive the, the mind insane. Uh, so they opened the sanatorium, which is the secondary overworld for this game. Uh, when we hit the halfway mark, we'll be heading across Lake Oblongata to uh, visit the sanatorium. I'm just going to go over here. So I'm going to do a quick little look around here, see what collectibles I can pick up. Um, the stuff over there I can't reach until I have levitation. But I can get some stuff up here. Back over there is basic braining and all that. Make a quick stop inside of the up, up. inside the camp store real quick. See what's going on in here. Oh yeah, hang on. Let's find out where the. Uh, Oh, I thought you stopped. Okay, so the band no, is the no, fire starters. No. Oh, no. So, <laughs> there's also the levitators on there. Sorry, 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 my bad. <clears throat> Not to worry, <clears throat> though. Well, let's just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. That thing. So, if I remember correctly, there's a, uh, yeah. One of our scavenger hunt items is up there, but once again, we need levitation. And this person keeps going invisible anytime any time you go near her. Um, but she's super shy uh, as a character in general. I thought those were figments for a second. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But, no you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. They're maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for Psy cards. <laughs> now with that, you can change the color of some of your Psy powers. Like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, Psy powers were all gray and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have Psy powers. Ah, but you know kids these days. Ah, now here's something every young Psy cadet needs. No, like he doesn't say anything about it. Um, basically that uh, brings the titanium arrowheads towards you. Dowson rod will help you find arrowheads that are 50 for that one. Deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. Now, 
You take that side card there, put it together with nine side cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new side challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. And then this last one. Mm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. That's it for now. All right. Go get more airheads and come on well, back. I think we nailed it. Want to lay off for the day? Okay. One more time. Nobody's in the TV room right now. We'll come back here later. There will be other people, I assure you. Hello, Invisible Girl. Back out we go. So yeah, I need that dousing rod to be able to get the mental cobwebs. Or to get the cobweb duster. Hey, Lily. Hey, Lily. Do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good try, Raz. Look at those two. Who'd even want a stupid friendship bracelet? I don't know. I wouldn't mind one. Yeah? Well, that's stupid. Want to measure my wrist? Just in case. Mm, no. <clears throat> mm, no. What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Ouch. I have Dogen, okay? That's all I need. Oh, there are the twins again. I suppose I should go talk to the twins. Up, up. Get up on the thing. Thank you. But <laughs> I like that it still collected it. That's terrible. Cheers for now, okay, Raz? Yeah, hey, sorry. I don't think I want any more cheers. Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big <laughs> for the winner. <laughs> they went back to mixing as soon as you walk away. Um, so yeah, those two have some <laughs> some slight problems. I'll, I'll say that. We learn a little more as we go on there. Another side challenge marker. Level my app by now. Seven. And I already got the one that was over there. So I think that does it for this area for right now until I can get some more stuff. Um, so let's head on to the campground. The campground. The. Uh, what are they called? I've actually just remembered where something is that I need to go get. Um, screw it. Reception area. I can't remember what the word is. Campfire. I was going to say campfire area. Yep. In 
into the reception area we go. So, hang on, before I move on, fun little thing. If you come and stand on the thing. You can just recreate Oleander's uh, beginning speech there with Raz. Which, hearing Raz say the word curvaceous in such a way is really unsettling. Oh, by the way, uh, psychic bears that try to grab you and they float. Yeah. Tell Mikael about that. Jump goes on upstairs. And down here it's pushing brooms, not spending spoons. <laughs> yeah, you can tell he's been waiting on that one for a while. Break all the stuff. Alright. Let's take a look around here. I don't think there's anything over here right now I can get to. Um. I know there's a card over there, but you have to get, be able to get past the, um, the bear, who at this particular moment is not going to simply let you walk past him. Uh, we can go down here real quick. And, yep. Ow. Ow. Pardon me, Mr. Bear. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. I missed the arrowhead, but that's okay. Get two new side cards here. I should have been keeping track of how many I have. Um, oh, crap. I think it's nine for every. Uh, I need my levitation skill so badly. It makes the parkour so much easier. But then I'd miss out on other stuff if I just skip straight to it. Let's see, is there anyone else I can talk to in this area? I'm trying to think of whether there's any characters I'm gonna miss. Why don't you come a light on my shoulder? Jerk. No, Raz. Oh. Good job, Raz. How arrowheads are buried in rock, I'm not fully certain, but, you know, titanium, I guess, is a good answer. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Hup. Mm, hup. He's into this tree. But that may once again be something for levitation. At the very least, to get up to that higher branch.
And a lot of the... What are they called? Scavenger... There's one right there, actually. Uh, scavenger hunt items can't be gotten without powers that you get much later on. Uh, like that fridge that I interacted with at the beginning that I kind of skipped over without mentioning. I need pyrokinesis to unfreeze the fridge, and then I can punch it open to get what's hiding inside of that. Up you go, up you go. Two more cards up here. And a scavenger hunt item. Pretty sure there was something up here. So we've got a fair few cards now. Um, I will save up and get the dowsing rod first, and then I will go and get probably off camera. I'll get enough to buy the cobweb duster and then I'll come and start buying for getting new uh, ranks go around the thing go around the thing there we go jerk jerk if you haven't realized what he, who he's talking to it's I keep pushing the action button when I go near birds and he tries to communicate with them but Birds don't particularly care for Rasputin, it would seem. Into the GPC. Geothermal something. I don't remember. Grab that real quick. Up, oh, come on. I saw a thing up there. Would I need 50 to go get the thing? I've got enough. I will go do that in between videos, I believe. Excuse me, Mr. Ranger, but I'm looking for Sasha Nine's lab. Well, now, even if I knew where it was, and, and if it were down here, and even if you were very, very close to it right now, you, you shouldn't be poking around here. This forest is off limits. Now get! Excuse me, Mr. Ranger. Okay. And this is the guy, of course, we turn our, um... Or this particular version of the guy. Oops. Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now, in the woods. <laughs> mm, no, it must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there, lurking, watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> that was an important cutscene, I feel. Um. Oh, goodness, what was I saying before? So, yes, that particular version of that individual who we haven't gone to speak to yet. Um. is who we will turn the scavenger hunt items back into. Get up there. Grab the core. And hup. And hup. There we go. Let's go talk to Chloe up here real quick. Yep. 
looks like fun. It's work. I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. How's the testing going? Not now, Baz. Oh, okay. And yes, Chloe is a girl, by the way. Um, whoop. Grab that. There's a cutscene there. There's people over here. Go talk to him. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Well, hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. Getting a lot of confidence about uh, this great. testing. <laughs> Much obliged, partner. Partner. Yeah, everybody sounds real confident about this testing. Da -da -da. Uh, that over there is a shortcut to the uh, docks, which we'll go to next time. I'm just going to quickly gather up the last of the stuff around here. We'll go look at Sasha's area. Uh, but I won't go down there yet until I go and explore the uh, beach house first. The beach house. The docks first. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. And I gotta be careful because there's another bear around here. Right, uh, right there, yeah. Hello, bear. I jumped right over the thing. Gonna have to find Mikael at some point. Tell him I found his bear. Although this bear has hair. <laughs> so I'm not sure what bear exactly he's talking about that doesn't have hair. Pick up the thing. And totally missed, but got the item, so. Whatever. I'm trying to remember how many. Um. Arrowheads I need for the Cobo Duster. It must be two or three hundred. Hey up. Let's head for the GPC real quick. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back. And he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly. Anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nails is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. Proud of you, Dogen. Oh, I thought... Mick... Uh, no, it's not Mikael. I don't remember what his name is. Small man. I know, I hear you. Give me a second. There is. I'm coming. Why? Isolation chamber. Oh man, cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. 
It's a sick sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach walked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bullion warfare complex should have sold own size or larger only. Ryan Cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! And so begins their relationship. Which is such fun. So yes, sometimes isolation can lead to great discoveries. Yeah, screw you, uh, Agent 9. Where the hell's my button? Hmm. Looks like... <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, Agent 9 thinks he's so very clever. But at the same time, this is also on your map, so, you know. Whatever. Let's hit... Uh, Why don't you come alight on my shoulder? Jerk. I can think of one more cutscene I want to see real quick before we cut the video. And then I'll go and do my uh, arrowhead collecting. Oh, yes, it does, it does say boathouse, doesn't it? Here I was calling myself an idiot for that. You have a water phobia? <gasps> Me too. Huh? No. Well, yes. I just. My family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! Goodbye! Hey, Raz. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering... Were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Mm -hmm. So yes, a gypsy cursed yep. all of Raz's family to die by water. So if we were to attempt to try to get into the lake, you have three chances to get back onto a solid platform, or the hand uh, drags you back down into the water. Which is rather unfortunate. Now over there, you can see is uh, Agent... Oh, look at that sun. Um, anyways, uh, her class is over there. Um... But to get there, we need a canoeing badge. And I'm totally missed. Oh, that was a close one. Uh, to get over there, we need a canoeing badge so that we can borrow... Or an oarsman badge so that we can borrow a canoe to go reach it. Everything in this game is involved with badges. Up we go. That was another uh, scavenger hunt item there. Almost at 150. It's not too bad without using the detector. I think that's all the cards for right here. Uh, let's go take a quick look at the boathouse, and we will call that an episode. Oh, I see a card back there. Mr. Cruller, can I take out a canoe? Mr. Who? You will call me Admiral, son. 
Uh, no, you can't charter a vessel. Not without an oarsman's badge. Mm, there's that explanation right there. Go take a quick look down here, and there's a thing. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business. Thank you, Bobby. Frick. Yeah, whatever. Fight you, Bobby. All right. With that discovery, that's a bathosphere, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know what a bathosphere is. Go play Bioshock. Good game. Um, that's going to call it here for an episode. I'm going to go grab the detector real quick. Uh, you know what? I might as well buy that on camera. Oh, see? I would have missed this card. Because the store is directly above the beachhead here. So I'll quickly go buy the detector really fast. And then I will call that an episode. Just so that you can at least see the detector being obtained. Door here, I believe. Yep, back to this brilliant music. Hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. A spatula. I don't want... How much is it for the cobweb... Oh, God, it's 800 for the cobweb duster. Oh, I didn't mean to... No, I'm so sorry. The rank? Oh, no. Collecting mental pigments helps you rank up. So it is found inside challenge marks. Okay. Building them out of side pods. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? That's it for now. So I have to go increase my rank one more time before I can buy the stupid thing because I forgot about going here. So in case you haven't noticed, I've walked past these a couple times. There's a little little tunnel here. Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? Or somewhere else? So this system will take you all across the place. So next time, we will go and find out who Ford Kreller truly is. I'll see you next time.